Here's my test bed to see just how fast a basic stamp can read a quadrature encoder. Here's a motorized disc right here. And as the disc rotates, you'll notice there are a couple of LEDs behind it. LEDs are currently indicating the status of two optical encoders right here. These are 90 degrees out of phase. They are reading a 16 segment disc right there. There's eight black and eight white segments. And when the LEDs light up right now, it just kind of, again, it says which, which encoder is picking up which. So there's the classic 90 degree out of phase pattern right there. What's more useful to us today is we're trying to find out can this thing count in binary. So here is the classic binary counting pattern right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, we're just going to look at this one side of the wheel here mainly. I have a reference mark right there. I'm going to zero that out. And what's interesting about this arrangement is with a 16 segment wheel and counting in binary, one full revolution will result and will, will cycle through all of the counts all the way up to number 16. But after one complete revolution, all the five lower LEDs will still be out. Okay, so we're approaching the index mark right there, and as I hit the index mark, okay, just the, fit, just the sixth LED is on. And what's interesting about that is, is as I test this, um, the important thing is the absolute count I really care less about right now, but I just want to make sure that we're not missing any of these encoder pulses, because this is really to see how fast we can go without missing any pulses. So I'm going to hook up the battery, uh, put it on 6 volts right now, and we'll run this thing for a while. You can see the thing counting in binary down there. Man, we're, we're really zinging along. And then when I stop, again, if we come back, oh, we'll go backwards now. But again, all the lower five LEDs should go out anytime I'm indexed right there, and that's exactly what happens. So now let's do a full speed, most impressive run. And as I run it on 18 volts now, that poor little solar robotics motor is really taking a beating down there. As I run it on 18 volts, you can see the LEDs are really screening along right there. You probably can't really see that the disc is spinning. But I'm going to count the top LED goes on and off each four revolutions. So let's count that. We'll time it out later on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so when I stop, we should still be able to come back and make sure there's a, in fact, we just, we, coincidentally, we coasted down to a, to our index spot right there, and as you see, we didn't miss any, any single beats there. So forward or back, the uh, basic stamp was able to keep up with that right there. Previously, I clocked that at about 600 RPM, um, but I will calculate out the numbers and post those in the comment section of this YouTube video. That's it for the basic stamp 2 quadrature encoder.